at one point, you and Messi Marv started getting into it. What was that whole beef over? Now, I've, I know Messi Marv somewhat. I've interviewed him before and so forth. Uh, <laughs> what, what caused the, the, the friction between you two? Hey, you know, it's crazy, you know, because little dude is, it, it was, was my little partner. You know, I fucked with Messi. I, was, I fucked with his music, all the shit. But um, for some reason, you know, he woke up one day and he just, you know, he decided to go in on Dre. I go wake I'm up. Dre. Yeah, I wake okay. up and I get a tag on my on my um, you know, my my Instagram shit. Hella people tagging me like, look at this, look at this, and I hit the tag and it's an album cover with my album. It's a with my record logo with bullet holes in the face. Is the first thing I see. So I'm like, I'm looking like what the fuck. So I come to find out, it's a song behind it. He made some kind of song, and then um, he had did an interview with uh. Well, some one of the social media sites where he got to talking about um yeah I, I don't fuck with the Dre nigga I didn't fuck with the Dre nigga I fucked with Fat Tone mm. so you know when I'm when I'm hearing all this shit I'm kind of confused because I'm like well hold on is this the same mess that you know first of all I met the nigga the first time I ever met mess was with Dre in the crest they was on their way to Portland and I took them niggas to the airport I'm fresh out the feds I took mess and Dre the whole crew to the airport to fly out. Second of all, after Dre passed, one of your biggest songs you did at that time was a song with Dre on the hook and you giving it up for Dre and you, that's my nigga and do that and all this. And then now all of a sudden, 12, 13 years after he did, it's, I didn't fuck with the Dre nigga. So if you didn't fuck with him, my thing is, why you didn't make that clear before? And now all of a sudden, this, you, you just said that. So my thing is, Dre not here, but I'm Dre nigga. So Dre not here to say, okay, my nigga, you don't fuck with me. Woo, woo, woo. I'm, I'm going to step up. I don't care if nobody else okay. step I stepped up. So I told the nigga, I said, my nigga, that shit was foul. And when I see you, you got to see me. You know what I mean? I'm some man-to-man -man shit, though. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm from the streets, for sure. And I'm also a pen nigga. And the pen, my nigga, and from the streets where I came from, you got a problem. You could tell a nigga, my nigga, come on, let me see you. Let's do some one-on-one -on -one shit. Let's fight, nigga, whatever. I slap the fuck out you. You slap me back and let's get it up. You feel me? That's where I come from. So I got at him, my nigga. When I see you, my nigga, me and you got a problem. So Messi Marv decides to take it up a notch. And he shows up in, in the Crest neighborhood with a pistol uh, in his car. Allegedly, allegedly. Well, I you, I see, you see the pistol in the yeah, video. Yeah, I, I, you know, allegedly. I, it could be a water gun. I don't, I don't know. know. It what, could what be plastic. Like a, I don't know what, what these niggas be carrying these what days. It looks like a pistol I don't know, because it was another one where if you look at the clothes, he's supposed to have something else. But there was no, no clip in it. So I know he, you know, he, okay. wasn't, he wasn't out there to do no damage and nothing either. Right. Mean all. He, but, just, but he, he actually, had a gun with no clip. He wasn't, <laughs> that's why he put it on camera, because it was no clip in the, in the, in the AR or whatever. Like He wasn't tripping. He wasn't doing nothing that's going to get him in trouble. He ain't that stupid. Well. Well, but he gets out of the car, and you see a whole bunch of scared people, <laughs> like women with oh, yeah, kids and, and stuff like that. that I've definitely really... seen the tape. I've definitely seen the tape. That yeah. was a great movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally scaring people mm. in, in the crest. And you're not, you're not, you're like in Hawaii or something. I mean, time. you know, if you a hitter in the streets, my nigga, and, if, and you do your homework, you're going to pretty much know where the nigga you looking for is at. And all, all the niggas, everybody else in the country knew where I was right. at. Wasn't he saying, like, where Jay Diggs at? <laughs> where Jay something? Diggs at? If he was on my Instagram, he didn't see me on the beach somewhere in Hawaii. But that's where I was at. And, and you know, and today, and, you know, Vlad, I'm going to keep it 100, my nigga. In today's time, this is the internet game, my nigga. And if you watch the Takashis and the niggas that blow up overnight, mm -hmm. like Mess caught the Takashi fever. You feel me? He wanted to get likes and views. Before he even posted the video, he told you, America, we finna go viral. That's all it was about. He wanted to do something that was going to get him looked upon. And he did some dumb shit, of course. Like, he, you know, he got an answer for that. That's, he got, you know, he got to deal with... Them streets that he jumped out on, you know what I mean? He ain't got to worry about Diggs, Diggs, yeah, Diggs, Diggs doing interviews and shit. You feel me? He got to worry about them streets he jumped out on, though. So that's, you know, that's a whole other ball game. Right. Like, you jump out on niggas with guns and shit. You got to deal with that shit. Well, he ended up signing to, to Mozzie's label right afterwards. Is that what we signed with? Uh, Mozzie Moore right now, huh? Shout out Mozzie. You know, yeah, y'all got a fool over there. <laughs> Mozzie Moore. I've interviewed Mozzie before. Yeah, yeah. I fuck, well, I, I, I fuck, I fuck with, with Mozzie. I fuck with his music. Cool, I, you know, I don't, I don't really know the nigga like that personally. Like, you know, I didn't hit him up. My nigga, I need a verse. Shot it to him. He shot it right back mm. to me. That's as much as I know him. You feel me? I just, I don't even how I even know Mozzie was through Filthy. You know, Filthy, that's my little nigga. Me and Filthy, we did the album together. Yeah, I fuck with Filthy. And then 
I seen they did a song, I forget some song, and I'm like, okay, the little nigga got gas. So I knew who he was and all the shit, but you feel me, I really don't know him like that. So, but shout out to Mozzie right. Marv and, and the whole movement they got going on over there. Well, I, I guess I guess that uh, Mozzie was a fan of. of yeah, you can tell. It's obvious. It's obvious, money. Yeah. If you know, if you know Bay music, you could tell. Yeah. And if you ever heard Mozzie interview, you could tell he was a fan of Mess. So yeah. he pretty much signed one of his favorite rappers or something. You know right. What I mean? Yeah, and, and it didn't seem like it had anything to do with you or like he was uh, trying no, to get. At I mean, you know, like I said, I, I, me personally, I feel like that's a slap in my little bro face because he fucked with him, like him and Filthy. You know, Mess and Filthy had shit going on for years. My little mm -hmm. shit, you know what I mean? It's just really new. Mess and Filthy had shit going on for years. Oh, they were beefing. Yeah, they oh, had okay. shit. So, and Filthy and and like I say, Mozzie, they're supposed to be niggas. So, yeah. you know, I don't really know. They Maybe they don't fuck with each other. I don't know. But me personally, from the outside looking in, I would look at that as a slap in, in, in Filthy face, my nigga. You know what I mean? And when I seen that, I was first thing I thought, like, damn, I thought that was Filthy nigga. This nigga didn't threaten Filthy life and all type of shit, and this supposed to be your nigga. So, I don't know. You know, that's you know it is what it is. He signed his favorite rapper, and it, it ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It ain't wrong with that. Niggas know, as long as you stand out of niggas' beefs, yeah. but you know, he from the streets too, so he know how that shit go. I just saw a video on uh, on Messi Marv's page where I guess he just got off arrest and he's wearing an ankle bracelet and stuff Oh yeah, like that's that. news to me. I didn't even know that nigga was yeah. there. Fresh out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little upset that y'all would even believe any of this fake ass shit. Um, keep it real with you. Fans, I apologize. Y'all know what I, what a nigga bum on to say. Come on and say, nigga. What a nigga fuck up, but you know um we fucked up. I fucked up, my nigga. But it was just based on some fake ass shit, man. Somebody called nine one one. They said somebody trying to rob somebody somewhere else or something somewhere else or something to that that right there. Their imagination right there, blood. But the whole SWAT team came out when they said a the nigga called the phone. The whole police force. You feel what I'm saying? And um, nigga. Um, they they went to the spot, nigga. Asked for nigga phone, and I said, told the nigga, come on, man, you're going down in history around right here, nigga. <laughs> so that's what it was. But um, I'm out. They gave me this, and um, I'm fucking with it. Y'all hit me up. He out. That's it. Yeah, he's free out. mess. Yeah, <laughs> welcome home. All the shit. Like, all the shit. All the shit. Do you know if that arrest had something to do with the with him jumping out of the car? No, I heard, I, I, you know, from somebody posted a paperwork, I don't know, it's something about a 911, he called 911 about something, I don't know. Okay. I really, I really don't know. I really, really don't know. I really don't know. But I do know we're going to find out if that gun was real when I see him, because I'm going to slap the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm going to slap the shit out of him. So we're going to find out if you carry that real gun or not, nigga. As soon as I see him. It's a, you know, I'm a man, though. I'm going to do it on some man shit. So if he want to whip a gun out after I slap the shit out of him, go ahead. But I'm going to slap the shit out of you, my nigga. That's it. This is also some man shit, you know, I ain't gonna threaten a nigga life or nothing, but he gonna have to see Diggs.